Hi folks, uh, this is Ralph again with a lot of things uh, from Texas and we are now are in part two of um, how to function this and this and that. We are going to refer to the bobbin case area and the shuttle area by removing the accessory tray. We are going to remove the bobbin case which is marked with a red dot. This here is specifically for your upholstery thread which is number 69. Now you'll also get another bobbin case which is not marked with a red dot and the reason we, we do this to make it easier for you uh, this here will be used just for regular thread but you could use it for the, uh, the upholstery as well you just have to readjust it. Remembering that adjustments are to be made at periodically uh, the thread, there's different types of thread, uh, there's hundreds of different types of thread, different types of texture, there are polyester, nylon, uh, there's all kinds of stuff and, and there's some weird thread out there so don't be afraid to make an adjustment here and there. Remember that what we have is like a tug of war, you got a top thread and a bottom thread the top thread must always be tighter than the bottom thread because when that top thread goes down to pick up the bottom thread it only picks up the bottom thread to a point and then it pulls up further to make its loop with the top thread so it must be much stronger and tighter tension on the top so remember that now if you have a problem where you jam the machine because uh, the, the loop or if you go try to put too much uh, fabric underneath because even though this lifts up a little bit higher it doesn't mean it's going to sew that thick. The machine is designed to sew approximately a quarter of an inch in height. I have made an, an added adjustment for people that are sewing heavier vinyl and stuff of that nature. But it doesn't mean it's going to sew cowhide which it doesn't sew cowhide. It sews lightweight leather and the vinyl with, with no problem. So I have reset it to 5 sixteenths of an inch in height from the top of your needle plate to the under portion of your pressure foot. Now if you go to sew something extremely thin like silk or satin it might not like it too well because I have adjusted to a higher height. Now uh, there is an adjustment which I will show you here in a few minutes if you want to re-lower it back down to the normal quarter inch. But if you have a problem with the uh, the snap on foot of it going back on just put a piece of the vinyl underneath which will give it a little added height and then it should snap right down onto that foot uh, because of the extra height that I had made it. Now to remove the shuttle to tilt the machine back just take your hand and hold the pattern knob up here on the machine and just move the lever on the la left to the left and the one on the right to the right and uh, make sure your needle's out of the, the uh, bottom area. And I just pull on the, that uh, bobbin shuttle and most time both pieces come right out. And sometimes the thread can get lodged inside here. Now a lot of times you'll look and, and you think there's nothing there but believe it or not there are sometimes there really is something there. The best thing to do, do not use a sharp object. Get yourself like a little brush uh, which I don't have one handy right here, but anyway, get a little brush. An old toothbrush is good, and just clean it out on both sides. Just turn the hand wheel, and then you can see you can move it from left to right, and just clean it out. Now, when you go to replace the shuttle, uh, you'll notice I always leave it to where the the shuttle holder is over on the left, and then I slip this in here. If I tilt the machine back, it's much easier to. You get it in there and don't force it, just gently slide it in there and it'll go in there. Okay, now once you get it in there, but you want to make sure you've tilted the machine back. You try to let it set up, it's, it'll fall back out. And now we're going to replace the, the holder, the hold down ring. And it's got a little notch on the bottom here and it's got a little notch there. Or a pin on the bottom. So we just sort of set this in here, line that up like so and you can feel it's in there pretty good just snap that there on each side now 
you just want to turn the wheel just slightly just to make sure it's going to move. It, if it doesn't move, then it's not in there properly. Okay, now the other thing we're going to do is I'm going to shut this light off because it will be a glare. I'm going to remove this end cover which is uh, an excess to the light and also to the uh, other adjustment for our height of the pressure bar. And let me get a flashlight here. And if we look right down alongside here, let's see, right between the light and inside here, between the light and this panel, there's a Allen screw there. Okay, right inside there. And so what we do, you just get a little Allen wrench, and we just take that and set it right in there. There. And so that there, by loosening it up, will adjust. You can adjust the height there and adjust it back down to a quarter of an inch. And that way, if you're going to solve silk and that, then that's what one would have to do. Uh, other than that there, you, you don't have to touch it. But most of our customers are, aren't sewing silk and chiffon and, you know, the real lightweight stuff that uh, that could be a problem. But so that's all you have to do is have a little Allen wrench there and then you just turn it, loosen it up, and then you just uh, pull this back and forth, adjust it down, make sure you reline it back up, measure it. See, I got like a little measuring device here. And then you just make sure you go back down to quarter of an inch. Okay. So I think that's uh, pretty good. Now also while you got this off here, this panel, you want to check and make sure everything's okay. Make sure your light bulb is tight. Sometimes they get loose and then they start flickering or the light bulb will, will start going out uh, so you can get another light. And But be sure when you do put the, the cover back on that you don't mess around with these springs. But there's two springs on each side. One's to facilitate the uh, needle threader and the other one is for the buttonholer. And so that's always up when you're not in using that there. This top knob, knob here is for your pressure foot, the pressure on the pressure bar foot. So when you're sewing real heavy stuff, you, you want to have that to the higher number, which is three. And if you're sewing the lighter, lighter stuff, like if you're going to sew some uh, jersey or you just like some light polyester, you might want to turn it back down to two. Everything's a matter of adjustments. Uh, there's nothing etched in stone uh, because this is a mechanical machine. Uh, but once once you get uh, to learn these little things, it's it's not difficult. It's it's not a difficult machine. It was only difficult by people that that just uh, don't like to read. And and make sure that uh, you know what these dials are on the machine. Because I'll have a customer who will say, well, I can't get this to work and this and that. And then I'll say, well, what number is your attention on? And they'll say, well, where's that? <laughs> and I sort of chuckle a little bit and I said, well, you've got to familiarize yourself with these dials. You've got three primarily on the top plus your pressure dial. Know what they do. It'll tell you in the, in the book. It, it's in Spanish and, and in English as well. And, uh, and know what these controls are. So you basically got uh, your pattern control which shows you exactly what pattern that you'll be at provided you have it on here set properly. Now sometimes you'll go maybe not all the way and it might get stuck there because maybe you just didn't hit that thing precisely. But you'll feel there's like a little notch, there's notches inside here. So you'll feel it, you know. It doesn't have to be precisely on that, but if it doesn't do the pattern, pattern properly, more than likely you haven't hit that notch properly. So just take and turn it back and, and it, it'll work, believe, trust me. <laughs> I love that word, trust me. So anyway, I think we're okay now. Uh, the push button reverse uh, is, is fine on lighter fabric. It is not designed to go through uh, real thick stuff. If you uh, want to go into reverse, the best thing that 
I tell our customer is once you stitch and uh, if you have to go in reverse just stop the needle where it's at in the fabric swing it around and then come back the other direction that way you, you can um, override that stitch on the other stitch that was there um, other than that there I think we're good to go and that's uh, pretty much what we'll do for this second part of the uh, machine and if you have any uh, problems or have any questions uh, be sure to give me a call. Name, my name is Ralph again and we are at 800-300-1917 and uh, have a great day.